Deborah Sampson was born into a poor, struggling family. She was one of seven, and her parents struggled to feed all of their children. Sadly, her father was lost at sea, so Deborah was separated from her siblings and her mother. <laughs> For plenty of her life, Deborah Sampson was an indentured servant. Someone who works under contract for another person, sometimes without pay or anything else in return. <sighs> but all this work made her stronger and vigorous. When she was 18, she was released and worked as a teacher for many years. But then something happened that changed her life completely. Wanted soldiers. Just a few years before, the war had begun. A fight for freedom. The battlefields of America were stained with blood. Just the thought of battling made Deborah feel restless. Not in a worrying way, but for a much different reason than that. She wanted to fight too. The war also brought out her more courageous and determined self. What's your name, boy? <clears throat> uh, Robert. <clears throat> Robert Shirtless. A while before, she would have never even dreamed she'd one day be grasping a gun, dressed in a soldier's uniform, and fighting against the British. Prior to this time, Deborah would have never done anything like this before. She was forced to become more versatile and had to adapt to some things that she would never do as a woman. Hey, you want some? Me? Yeah, you. Come on, it's really good. Uh, uh okay, okay, sure. She became more and more stubborn and always refused to go to the hospital because the doctors would discover her. No. No, I, I can't. I can't go to the hospital. They'll find out I'm in disguise and I'll be arrested. Or worse. What will you do? How will you heal? I'll do it myself. I'll do everything. Everything? Yes. Yes, I'll treat myself and hopefully heal myself as well. Deborah was injured three times, and some of the injuries were extremely painful. She had to become more cautious because she hadn't been caught yet and she didn't plan on it. But the thing she most dreaded happened in 1783. She became very, very ill. Her doctor, Dr. Barnabas Binney, made the discovery. But luck was with her, and she received an honorable discharge on October 23, 1783. During the course of this war, a fight for freedom, Deborah had done things she'd never dreamed of doing before. Women had never been allowed in the army, but Deborah Sampson couldn't stand the restlessness this war was making her feel. Amazingly, she gathered up the courage and bravery to sneak into the army. The fight for freedom brought out her independent self and the bravery and the courage she had never seen from herself before. <laughs>